when I do this, I'm going to B flat chord, man. I'm not just kind of making sounds to fill a space. Yeah. I'm going somewhere with him. And I measured how long it takes <laughs> to, to, to get there, you know? So they understand the sound, but they haven't learned how to manipulate it in their favor. A, a trick every bass player does, whatever their level of professionalism, is to make some drops and some fall offs on the instrument. First step is to play good quarter notes. Okay, so that's the C scale we kind of think is that the possibly a C chord of some kind. Or you want some kind of activity. So there are a couple of things you can do. And they're all they all change depending on the drummer's sound and what he feels the beat is. And, how fast the song is and what chords are around this specific fall off or, or, or rhythm you place in quarter note kind of sound. Now, how can we make this sound different and still stay in this kind of physical zone? Well, one thing you can do is this. Second finger, pull off, go into F. It's a pretty basic one. But there are a lot of choices we have, and it depends on the person's uh, aggressiveness and how they want to impress the band with their skill level of making drops and anything but play four quarter notes, which seems to be the bane of some guy's existence. There's a lot of things to do. I try to play in rhythm, not just a, a, a rake, they call it. That, a rake. And that's okay, but it doesn't have the sound of the chord. That's the sound of a C. But I want the sound of the chord in there. Let's try a different key even. The easy one. Yeah. So you're going F, F9. I'm going to the fifth, to the root. Or to the third. But I'm trying to play notes, not just uh, the, the effects of a drop. I want some real notes in there. Or a gliss. So use rests in there. Sometimes you don't have to note at all. For as many players as you will find, there are as many drops and rakes and concepts that make the four quarter notes jump around. Uh, I think if you can consider the groove of the tune, uh, the speed of the changes, uh, what chords are around this figure, and your general location on the bass to play this particular rhythm, 
the sum of the factors that affect where I play them. If I'm on the wrong part of the bass and I can't do this, I won't do it there. I'll wait till my time comes. I'll try to find something else. against the beat, but this is our beat right now. Okay, keep that in mind. So I play four quarter notes, then I'll play against this because I still hear this. depending on your hands, what kind of calluses do you have, how loud the band is, whether that needs to have this kind of push, or this kind of uh, uh, highlighting, a certain kind of chord. These rhythms you think of make that certain chord just go like this. hearing this and I'm able to kind of maintain this sound of the beat as I play against that. Now it's important to you start these rhythms, you got to maintain this sound. You got to hear this beat to play against that. And if no one hears that, they don't feel the tension that you're trying to create. It's all about actually hearing this contrast. the word difficult because everything in making bass line is basically difficult. Uh, having said that, I think there are two key elements to make your against the beat things work better. One, you must continue to hear this click. Without this banging, banging in your ear from someone in the band, if not your, the drummer's hi-hat, or just the ride symbol, or just your inherent determination that I hear this beat. And I think that since as long as I can kind of hear it, I can play against that beat. Understanding that the band may not be in that space. The band may not be as adventurous, as, as, as rhythmically, as, as um, curious, or as daring as you think your lines are. If you keep those two things in mind, uh, uh, one last item, you can't be afraid to try it. Otherwise, you'll never know if it works maybe in a different place, in a different tune, uh, on a different set of changes, uh, in a different key. Uh, what's the, this, this thing you're going to play, what happens to it? Does it just stop here? Can you transfer this rhythm way over here, which maybe it fits better with the piano voicing? or whether the soloist just takes a breath, can you sneak it in right then? 
can you camouflage what's going on by playing this rhythm so that we all agree that now, here's one. To be able to do those things, you must hear this click in your ear and you must trust your sense of where the beat really is, as well as understanding the level of the band's rhythmic curiosity.